What's up? It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with my boy Demari, aka Young PT. My brother put a couple lines of cards that's stick me. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of drummers. Yeah, I got a big band. Put, put the gun down. You know you're not a hit man. You like none of that nigga. I don't really get that. You know what I'm saying? Demari, aka PT. What's PT stand for? Pop Tart. Pop Tart. So you like Pop Tarts a lot? Yeah, yeah. Is that like your go-to? What you said when the the maker of Pop Tarts had deceased? Nigga, I only I ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with that many pop tarts. I only fuck with the brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. All the other shit is nasty. I ain't gonna lie. So you don't like the blueberry, you don't like the cherry, strawberry, none of that? I ain't never had that shit. You gotta you gotta try that shit. I tried a strawberry pop tart one time. I got a clip of that shit and that shit was disgusting, nigga. Blueberry's better. I'm a blueberry guy. I'll never eat no blueberry, none of that, none of that. Hell nah. Nigga. He said he said fuck them niggas. Uh, Never had that shit in my life, nigga. Like, no bullshit. All right, well, shit. Let's get into some basic information. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to goddamn knock out these questions real quick. We hot in a bitch. We just filmed his music video. If y'all ain't, you know what I'm saying? If y'all are going to be on the lookout for that, you know what I'm saying? It's called I Don't Give a Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because my boy really don't give one. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that right? Yeah, I ain't give a fuck. I ain't never have. So, uh... I remember you telling me that you moved, so I wanted to know, like, where did you, uh, where are you originally from, and, you know what I'm saying, what was the difference from basically moving from uh, there to here to Fort Worth, Texas? I'm from Los Angeles, California. I, I was born in Inglewood, and I basically lived with my granny the whole time, but I got expelled from school when I was six, in sixth grade. I punched a teacher in his shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. And this boy punched the faculty into the chest, and then what happened? Nigga, they, the nigga basically grabbed my arm, yanked me out the classroom, made a big-ass scene, and then they gave me a choice that was like, you can get expelled or you can get, like, a 15-day suspension. I was like, I told their ass straight to their face. I said, nigga, if I got to be in the same school with this nigga and he not fired, then nigga, you can expel me. She said, all right, bet. They expelled you, and then you ended up in Texas for work. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to get me out here so I could get a whooping. Like, I literally came out here because the laws is different out there. Now, you can't you can't whoop people like that. Yeah, know? California like that. Like, the, the child laws, for the child laws is crazy. Yeah. But, goddamn, so you moved out here, and, like, what happened? Like, how did you start making music? Were you already making music? Like, what was going on? I ain't gonna lie. I started making music. I was on the Xbox, and niggas was basically like, bro, make music with me. I'll write your bars for you, like. And I was like, nah, I'm not no rapper, bro. I let y'all do that shit. Because they was singing, rapping niggas and all that. They was making songs and content. Like, this way back in 2018, 2017. So I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna rap. Then they then they just sent me. They was like, I was like, fuck it. One day I said, fuck it, I'm gonna rap. And I made my first song. They gave me some bars. I rapped that shit. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? What was the first... Do you remember any of your first bars that you ever came up with? Like, what was the first couple of songs? You know, like, what was the bars? <laughs> What's the first hey, concept of the hey, song about? Hey, look, my first song that I ever wrote, I'm gonna give y'all the first like two bars. Nigga, the first bars was to introduce myself in a rap game was Nigga, you a bitch. You a fucking bitch. Okay. That's it. That's that, it. That was it. That that was a that was the intro. That was the drop that grabbed y'all's attention. I wanted, to, I wanted to call a nigga a bitch, bro, because the nigga pissed me off, so I wrote a diss track on him. So I wrote a whole diss track. So on that's him. what got you started, the diss. Yeah, like my friend, I was, I was dissing niggas because, bro, they had me at like this place. Because, nigga, I, was, I ain't gonna lie, I was crazy as fuck back then. So they had me in this place, bro, where all the crazy niggas was in, bro. But it wasn't like that, but it was like a little house, like a bad people house, bro. I was in that hoe, bro. And niggas was like, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna diss on this nigga. He was talking shit. Fuck it. it was a bad bitch in there that I wanted, and he was like, he was like, she don't want you, nigga. I was like, nigga, fuck you. Nigga. So, so he was basically acting out in front of these people, in front of this female that you're trying to get, and you know what I'm saying. He was like, I'm not having that shit, nigga. Let me tell you, let me tell you about yourself. I'm finna, I'm finna make a song, bitch ass nigga. When I go home, I said, I'm finna make a song about your ass when I go home. Damn, and then it, and then it happened, and then those were those where those two lines, those two bars came from that everyone will remember. You know what I'm saying? You a Say it fucking again. bitch. Oh, uh, nigga, you a bitch. Hey. You a fucking bitch. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So that's he just letting y'all know what y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Cuz that's what he's saying, man. That, nah, not y'all though. Not but, but 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 the guy that's going to watch it right now that try to do some whole nigga shit, that's it's about you. I you remember his name? A nigga named Jonathan. I wonder what happened to that fat ass nigga. Damn, he he hey, it's, it's, fuck you, nigga. Damn, that's crazy. He says up and it's stuck. You feel me? God damn. Well, shit. Let's get to uh, you know. Let's get to a little bit of spicier, uh, you know, question. Uh, if you could pick any of the females in the rap industry, uh, nah, I need top five. I need top five though. 
Ice Spice, nigga. All five? Ice Spice when she was thick. Ice Spice she was skinny. Ice Spice from the Bronx. Ice Spice uh, on Casa Nestor. Okay. And Ice Spice on Munch. So you're basically saying that there's different variants of Ice Spice. Of course. Of course, like, of course. So he's basically saying he wants the multi-universe Ice Spice. If he can find all the Ice Spices in the multiverse. I need a Thanos glove with them hoes. Ooh! A whole bunch of Ice Spice drools. I fuck with Ice Spice. Hey, Ice Spice, if you see this, fly me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Ah, right. <laughs> hey, but shit. Nigga, let's get into the second question because that was the quickest. He asked that question so quick. A lot of people had to think about that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dream collab. Who would you want to collab with if it's about content or if it's about music? Ooh. Who would, who are your dream collabs for content, like making skits? And who are your dream collabs for music? My dream collab for like, for like content, like... Making music, fuck it, we gonna start with making music. I wanna make music with Lil Uzi, fucking Baby Tron, and then Commit the Zine, and nigga Gunna. Well, I can understand this one, the, those ones, because he kinda, he has a very Detroit style flow, so I could hear him and Baby Tron and him and Uzi kinda like really working really well together, because he has multiple flows. If y'all haven't been listening, check out the flows, check out all the songs, because they are different flows, you know what I'm saying? But back to the back to the question, who's your uh, content creator that you'd want to link up with, you know what I'm saying, dream collaboration? Fucking, damn, really, like, I ain't gonna lie. It would be on on the game on some game and shit. No, nah, that's fine. On some game and shit, it would be like Dashy, Dashy XP. That I grew up watching that nigga, bro. If I could play the game, make a video with that nigga, boy, that shit would be like a dream come true. No bullshit. Damn. All right. So what's his name again? That nigga Dashy XP. Dashy XP. You know what I'm saying? I go tap in with Bull. Tell him Damari sent you. Tell him Damari trying to make some content. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna look. At- that nigga ain't gonna watch that shit. Damn. You never know, man. What's We'll tag him right. We'll tag him when we post this shit. This be the drop. This is how we get his attention right here. Don't tag that nigga. Don't tag him. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna watch it. He ain't gonna watch it. He too famous. Bro, say he too that big. He ain't never took his hat off before. Like he wear a hat just like this, and he ain't never took it off ever. Damn, you know that nigga bald. I, I gotta see his hat. I ain't gonna lie. Don't meet me, Dash. I'ma snatch that hat off your fucking head, dog. Cause he wanna see what's underneath I'm the cap. Snatch that fucking hat off your fucking head, nigga. What's your biggest uh, thing that you think is cringe as fuck? For other artists, like when you, when you see other artists do some shit, you be like, "Damn, I can't believe bro just did that, that shit." Cringe. Let me think. Secondhand embarrassment type shit. Can never return. You know what I'm saying to that normal uh, rep. Some weird ass shit. Uh, That's ick. A good ass question. Now I gotta think. When a nigga fucking. Uh. When a nigga, I don't know. I don't really. Know. He will be he'll be paying attention to niggas because he busy getting money. That's what that means. So that that was the answer right there. My boy said, I don't be paying attention to these niggas. I don't know what they be doing. Think of is like about some hoes, but that don't come about the rap game. Like I say some lame shit if a nigga talk to one of your hoes, and like they be trying to like pillow talk. They be talking down on you to try to fuck the bitch behind closed doors. If y'all know what pillow talking is, that mean you know what I'm saying they do some hoe shit. They go lay down with a bitch. They talking hella shit. They talking shit, bro. That shit happened to me one time, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit happened to me one time. I was sick as fuck because the, the bitch went back and told me she was like, yeah, he said this, this, and that. Cause that's what they gonna do if y'all ain't know that. If y'all not that nigga, they gonna they gonna tell on you, bro. They gonna go back to whoever that nigga is. They gonna tell. Yeah, she told on him, and I was like, what the fuck? And the reason he told her is because he thought I was lying about the mm-hmm. shit. So when I when she told him all this shit, when he told her all this shit that uh, I told him, mm-hmm. she was like, she ain't really say nothing, but she was like, what, you, what he was lying about? Damn. He was stuck. That nigga yeah, was like, dead. damn. He, he kept it a buck, so, you know what I'm saying, nothing could happen to him because he just kept it real. Is that right? That's what you're saying? I ain't gonna say nothing about the bitch no more. I don't know. Yeah, man. We don't know about that. I ain't gonna speak on her no more. That boy got an NDA. Damn, that would've been cool. Damn, if you would've if you would've hit it, that would've been fire. But I don't even think we in the angle, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Tell us, tell tell everybody where we at right now. You know what I'm saying? Are we still in? Are we where we at? Right now we in Azle, Texas, bro. I don't even we in Azle somewhere. We can't tell you the full location because, you know what I'm saying? This is a hidden spot, hidden gym, you know what I'm saying? Come out here. We somewhere. 
Yeah. We somewhere in Texas, but just know this is where we come for the Fourth of July's and the motherfucking spring break and shit. This is where you come to get fucked up. Well, shit, you gotta come next spring break. Uh, we gonna rent a boat. Fuck it. Nigga, my grandpa got one. All right, well, shit. Bring that bitch. All right, we can do that. All right, we gonna bring the boat. We gonna. We gonna bring, we, I got one. We gonna bring the over here. All right, we gonna. That's what we gonna do. All right, spring break. Bring the boat. Y'all see that shit? We'll do interviews on the boat. Fuck it. We'll do a podcast on the boat. Fuck it. This shit gonna get ruined. All the equipment gonna be ruined. Damn, but we gotta do it for the one time. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But goddamn, let's think about something else. You know what I'm saying? What what you got on here? You know what I'm saying? What you what you wearing? You know what I'm saying? What 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 are the fit for today? What is the fit for today? I see you got the Balenciagas on. You know what I'm saying? Show show the guys. You know what I'm saying? What you? Start from the top. Come on, let go, let go. We got Spider Man jacket. You already know this amazing Spider Man, not just any Spider Man. Nah, that's that. That's that Andrew Garfield. Yeah, the amazing Spider Man. And then we got the white tee that I got from the store. I might be sweating. My bad if I'm sweating. It's hot as fuck. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. These nice little big baggy fucking pants. These jeans. And I don't even know what they say. Y'all can see it. That yeah. shit say some shit like. I always believe that. Hold on, bro. Don't look too long. That's my, you know what I'm saying? Head. Yeah, I I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. We we yeah. we got it. Yeah. <laughs> it say some shit that they made sure that they printed it right there so you hey, could so read that I shit. I got these art short uh, art shorty chain on. Art shorty art chain. The art shorty pendant on my on my fucking chain, my regular chain. Yeah, that's about the fit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just wanted to be simple for my video. I you know what I'm saying? But, he, you know what I'm saying? He said it's a relaxed shoot. You know what I'm saying? So we made it happen. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, what you going to do after we head out from here? What's today? Today is Monday. I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I can, I bet on that. I need a, I need a large lemonade. Yeah, I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. Wait, what time is it? I, shit, I don't know. Probably close to 11. I'm gonna go when it's time to actually eat the real food. They breakfast kind of mid, so when I when it's time to go get a spicy chicken sandwich, that's when it's time. That's when we gonna go. All right, bet, bet, bet. So well, it's your boy Gator Jewel signing out. I'm with your boy. It's your boy Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm motherfucking Damari PT signing out. Peace.